guys welcome back to another video on the project auto youtube channel thanks so much for tuning in and in today's video you can see we are here once again with the 1998 dodge ram 1500 with the 318 in it this is the new red one that we just purchased and uh today we're going to talk about a few things with this truck uh that have been done that weren't filmed i know i suck i'm sorry but it's difficult when you're by yourself hopefully you guys can understand I'm working to get some new video equipment that will make it easier for me to film uh, by myself. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing and uh, leaving the comments below. I love seeing your comments. So, uh, But today we're going to talk about a couple things, one of which is right there. And uh, let's get this video started. So the first thing, if you noticed at the beginning of the video, the startup... Um, we told you, I told you guys that it needed an exhaust. Um, some of the exhaust was missing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a video clip here. Um, video doesn't do justice, but this is what the truck used to sound like. So as you guys can tell, big difference uh, from what it used to sound like a uh, lot uh, better. It's not as loud and obnoxious. I mean, everybody likes loud, but that was just too loud. It was hurting my ears as we drove it home that day. Uh, so we fixed it and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we did it. Um, so let's climb underneath the truck real quick. So we go up underneath the truck here. So as you can see, this truck has dual exhaust one there one there we still have a hole we need to patch right up underneath there i'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it um but way up there we got the adhesive tape to fix that uh, but as far as the exhaust goes right up underneath there you can see the new pipe and all its clamps um so let me get a better shot here so right here, that's where the Y pipe comes down. And from there all the way back to here, it was missing. Um, the exhaust was just non-existent. Uh, so we went and purchased um, two 18 inch steel pipes. They're not stainless steel, of course, because I can't afford that. Uh, $32.99, I mean, I just don't, uh, I can't stomach paying that for a piece of pipe, uh, especially on this truck. But anyhow, so we got two 18 inch pipes. Um, the total length that needed to be replaced was 26 inches. So obviously 18 and 18 is not 26. So we went ahead and uh, cut down this second pipe here uh, to fit. And we used one, two, three, four, five clamps uh, to get this thing uh, sealed pretty good. And it is snug it's pretty well sealed uh, so we shouldn't have uh, any further issues there this wasn't too difficult the hardest part was uh, the cutting uh, getting the pipe measured and cut down to size and then of course uh, getting it installed wasn't too bad and then we went ahead and put on the clamps uh, I didn't have enough clamps so I had to go uh, mid job and get another clamp but that's not a big deal so, uh, but we got it done and she sounds a lot better, a lot better. And that's what it looks like there. So the uh, rest of the exhaust is in pretty good shape. Um, that piece is kind of rusted there, but as long as there's no holes, hey, we're good. Um, and if you can see all the way down there at the end, let me zoom in here for you. We have a small hole there and kind of right see right there on this second pipe on the corner on the elbow uh, from there all the way up has a hole but we have the uh, exhaust repair tape to go ahead and do that so we will uh, do that in a later video uh, but I wanted to show you guys that new exhaust there so looks pretty good it sounds a lot better zoom in for you you can see right there that whole piece right there we need to get repaired or replaced one of the two 
but uh, we'll get it. And we've got some more holes up there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got more holes up there we got to replace, too. So we'll get it uh, in a separate video. I'll show you guys that uh, in another video. Second thing that has been done is we went ahead and stapled up the headliner. I'm not pulling the whole thing down and replacing it. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but whatever. It's a work truck. I don't care. And you can see we've got all that stapled up there looking good. Uh, we did a full-ish detail. Uh, we've got the rubber floors uh, cleaned up from what they used to be. This truck was really dirty, so it's going to take us some time to keep scrubbing this thing down and getting it back to where it should be. But we got it pretty well cleaned out. Um, and then the third thing that we've done is we installed the second TYT uh, digital two-way radio into this truck. So we have the other one in the other red truck, the 2500, which is currently in the shop getting its transmission done, uh, which I'm so excited and can't wait to get that back and we can start uh, checking that thing out and doing some cool stuff with that truck again. Uh, but we went ahead and installed this second video or second radio video. Wow. Second radio in this truck. Uh, so now both trucks have a radio. And as you can see, the wires are pretty clean. Um, the reason it's mounted here is there's really nowhere you can truly mount um, in these uh, second gen 1998 to 01 and 02 dashes. I mean, there's just no where to mount it. Um, Dodge didn't really think that through with people using these trucks for work trucks. There's really nowhere to mount it unless you go right up on top of the dash. But then you have wires and you have to drill holes and, and everybody knows how crappy these Dodge dashboard plastic junk is. So you really can't drill without it falling apart. Um, whereas on the other truck, the 97 that has the older style dash, uh, there, there was a nice solid place we could mount the radio right there in that truck. And then in this truck, they changed it with, um, I think they added this. I can't remember if that's in the other truck. I think this is in the other truck but I can't remember. Um, they added the cup holders down here. So now you have the cup holders that pull out like that versus in the other truck, they pulled out up here. So that took away all that room. And I thought about mounting the radio there, but then I figured after bumps and how cheap this plastic is that eventually this would jiggle loose, break from crashing down and then you're not gonna see the radio. Um, the bracket for the radio was too wide for right here course this thing's broken and you wouldn't be able to use it if we mounted a radio there so then i thought maybe up here um but then if i wanted to use the cup holders this would come down too far or wouldn't come down far enough you couldn't use the cup holders and you wouldn't be able to see the radio it wouldn't fit over here on the side i thought about um on the side here but you know rain water mud dirt get up underneath that radio um because the fan is on the bottom of the radio down here and it might screw that up the other option was maybe right here but then it was going to be more difficult to see the radio and adjust any channels or anything like that then i thought maybe on this side up here but then happen to where you're going to put the microphone it would stretch across the steering wheel here or underneath and it just wouldn't be safe then i thought maybe just lay it up here and mount the microphone here um, but then also the radio would slide around if it's not mounted properly and you can't drill into this dash because it falls apart and then the microphone cord would be draping across the steering wheel when you're talking so it wouldn't be ideal or safe either so we went ahead and just stuck it between the seats here so it's just it's not even permanently mounted but it is solid between the seats um, and it should be able to get enough airflow um, so we have it mounted here and then i started trying to decide where i wanted to mount the microphone so I thought about on the dash, but then you have the cord draping across here and it would get in the way, you'd hit it on your leg or nobody else would be able to get into the middle seat. Um, so we decided to do it the cop style and mount it flat like this because most police vehicles, they have their radio microphone mounted like this on their uh, center console and that seems to work pretty well for them. So I thought that this would work pretty well for me. And so we took the two screws that were that came with the mounting bracket here and if you can see we screwed them in right there and it actually holds pretty well i mean it's not like rock solid but it's solid enough to where you can take it off and if you can line it back up you can get it back on pretty easy 
Cool thing is you can leave it hooked and you can still open this up, get whatever you need to get out of there, close it down, whatever. If you need to use the middle seat, you can just go ahead and take this off, lay it down, go ahead and just open up the whole thing or flip the whole thing forward. So that works out pretty well. And then when you're done, you can just put this back on there like so. So it makes it very easy to get to. Um, the cool part is you can also um, change the channels um, from right here. So if you can see the channels changing there. So that's cool. So you don't have to look at the radio the whole time, which is nice. Um, you can still adjust your settings here on the radio, your volume here, uh, channel knob over here, channel buttons here, um, your menu buttons, your programmable buttons, all that you can still adjust quite easily. And the best part is um, I have the uh, microphone cord tucked between the radio and the center console. And the reason for that is so when you come up, you can still get it high enough to talk. And when you put it back, this isn't in the way dangling over here. You can still hook up your seatbelt without this being in the way. So that is nice as well. So I think it looks pretty clean. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's out of the way. Um, nobody else is really going to be driving this truck that would need to adjust the seat. Um, but if they do, then they would just have to make sure the radio stays in place while they pull the seat uh, forward. But like I said, not very often that somebody else is going to be uh, driving this particular truck. So we got that mounted. We did that. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. So this truck's finally coming together. Um, the antenna is run up underneath the seat. You can see the cable there. It goes up along the side here. And then it comes up to the top and there's the antenna. So everything's pretty well clean. It was very easy. We ran the wires uh, through the firewall uh, up to uh, the battery. Now in the other truck, I didn't do that. I didn't realize how easy it was to get through the firewall on these trucks. So in the other truck, we're going to take the wires that are run here um, and reroute them through the firewall to kind of clean that up eventually. No hurry. So that's that guys. So this truck so far and it's running great. Um, there's nothing else wrong with it. The transmission uh, shifts good uh, through the forward gears. Um, as you can see, I did put my no reverse label there um, because it doesn't have reverse. Um, I think it's going to be a lot easier fix um, than I thought. So we may end up just fixing the reverse itself instead of doing a tr complete transmission swap from the green truck. Um, and then we can keep the transmission from the green truck in case we ever need it. So in another video coming up here soon, we will drop the pan on the transmission on this thing and uh, try to see if we can find out why reverse isn't working. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't mean to ramble on this long. I'm sure this is kind of a boring video, but I wanted to show you guys what was going on, the updates with this truck. And like I said, it was harder for me to film uh, doing the work and I wanted to get it done. So be patient with me, guys. I hope you understand. Um, but this truck's coming together, guys. I love it. It's coming together. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.